The mental status assessment is used to look at the overall mental health of an individual. The mental status assessment allows us to make an informed judgment about an individual's mental state and is usually incorporated into the initial history taking. Hi, my name's Eloise. Hi, I'm Dave. What's your name? I'm Dave. Oh, nice to meet you, Dave. Um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Uh, do you know where you are at the moment? I'm at Waterfront Hospital. That's correct. Do you know what year it is? It's 2012. And do you know what month it is? It's July. Yeah, that's correct. Now, Dave, I'm just going to ask you, can you squeeze my fingers for me? Nice and firmly. And can you release, please? That's great. The next part of the assessment involves observing the patient's general appearance. Note whether or not the patient is dressed appropriately and cleanly. Pay attention to the patient's level of hygiene. Is there any odour? This is particularly important because both mental and physical illness can impact on a patient's ability to self-care. Turn the machine on and enter any data required after calibration. Remind the patient to stay still while the ECG is obtained. Venipuncture is collecting blood from a vein for diagnostic purposes or to monitor a patient's response to treatment. Accessing the venous system is an invasive procedure and requires a patient's consent. Safety considerations include determining the person's correct identity by asking the patient's full name and date of birth and checking their identification band against their request form. Check the patient's history for any coagulation disorders. Standard precautions must be maintained at all times to prevent blood from contaminating the nurse's skin.